what if we get dates d d dot m m dot y y y and we need to convert them to real dates well we're going to see three examples two excel worksheet formula examples and one power query Now, anytime we're trying to build a solution that's based on dates, you have to know what the regional settings on your computer are. We go down to the Start menu, start to type Control. There it is, the Control Panel. And right there, Region. If your computer settings match the dates in your column, then the first solution is going to be the easiest. Since my regional settings are month, day, year, here's the solution that will work if your regional settings are set up like this. We simply use the substitute function. The text, well, there it is, comma. The text we want to find and get rid of in double quotes is a period. That's the old text, comma. And the new text, double quotes, forward slash, and double quote. Now when I close parentheses and Control Enter, that delivers text. And we can tell it's text because it's aligned to the left. Now anytime you get dates, times, numbers stored as text, I'm going to hit F2. There's a great trick to convert the text numbers back to real numbers. And that trick is any math operation that doesn't change the value. So I'm simply going to add 0. When I Control Enter, I get the serial number date. So I come up to the number group. And we'll use short date. Double click and send it down. F2. Now, if you have regional settings like this and you're getting dates like this, well, then we can use the date function. We're going to have to extract the year, month, and day from this SAP date. Now, notice the pattern is the year is four characters from the right. The month is in the middle, starting at the fourth character and going two characters. And then the day is two from the left. So right inside of year, we'll use the right function. I use my left arrow to get that text date, comma. The number of characters is four. Now I close off right. Right is inside of year, comma. In month, we need to use the mid. The text will be our date, comma. The starting position is one, two, three, four, comma. The number of characters to get, two. Close parentheses on mid. Now there's our month, comma. And for day, we'll use left. The left of that, comma, two characters. Close parentheses, close parentheses. Control Enter, and double click and send it down. Looking at the last cell, that's looking good. Now, we can use Power Query to solve this. And if the data is in your Excel worksheet, then you need to have it in an Excel table. In particular, although formulas are great because they instantly update when something changes, if you're getting your data externally and bring it into Excel, you definitely want to use Power Query because it's going to be easier than either, either one of these solutions. Now I'm going to click in one cell in the Excel table, go up to the Data Ribbon tab, Get and Transform Data Group, and there it is, From Table or Range. That opens up the Power Query Editor. I'm going to change the name over here. We can see we have two steps. And over here is our column of dates. Now up in the upper left-hand corner, that's called a data type. ABC is the icon for text. But when I click this, oh, all sorts of options. And the one we want is using locale. Using locale will ask us, what do you want? Well, we want a date. And it knows what our regional settings are. You just have to say where these dates are from. And our dates are from France. So I find the location and click. And it gives you a preview here of what the value should look like. When we click OK, there's our dates. Now we can close and load, close and load to something like H4. Click OK. And there we've done it with substitute when regional settings and the data are the same. If they're not the same, we can use a construction like this or simply use Power Query. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to learn more about dates, either formula or Power Query, check out these videos.